guys, it's Ariana from the Brooklyn Bridge Boot Camp. Today is your first detox day and this is your first 7 minute workout. We're going to perform 7 exercises for 1 minute each. So the goal is for you to push as hard as you can throughout the whole 60 seconds. Don't stop, work as hard as you can. The idea is to stimulate fat burning, work every single muscle in your body, and also to build lean muscle mass which boosts your metabolism. Let's set the clock, 1 minute each, let's go jumping jacks. Long arms, pull your navel in tight, put some power in your arms, stay in your toes. Get your arms all over together, and hit your shoulders here. that follow and go deep at the right, right spot to change your body. 15 seconds. 10, 8, get ready for front lunges. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lunge forward. One left, one right. Take your feet into two 90 degree angles. Your back knee down, keep your hands on your hips. So you see that the front knee and the back knee are forming a 90 degree angle. Your core is strong, the chest is open. Good. Take the back knee as low as you can. This is great for your entire lower body. From your hamstrings, your quads, the calves, and the butt. Keep that chest open, keep your shoulder blades together. Push yourself back up to standing. One left, one right. Good. Keep your breathing strong. As deep as you can. Always push back up to standing. Generate power. Okay, we have 10 seconds to go. We'll move into side to side squat jumps. In three, two, one. Here we go. Your legs are open. Squat jump. Squat jump, squat jump. Keep all your weight in the heels. Sit your butt down and bend your knees. You want to land softly so you don't feel this in your back, but in your quads, hamstrings, and your butt. A little higher. Now don't catch yourself holding back here. If you have seven minutes to create a difference, make sure every second counts. Push, push, push. Always land with your knees soft. That is your shock absorption. Okay, make your steps a little wider. 15 seconds to go. 10, 8, push it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, squat with a knee raise. Deep squat, high knees. Deep squat. Sit your butt down, pull your knee into your chest, using your abs. The lower abs are working here. Pull them in. So your butt should come almost as low as your knee level, pushing your heels down. So you work the entire backside. The calves, hamstrings, and your glutes, your butt muscles. Squats are the best thing to lift your butt, firm your butt, and strengthen your thighs. Deep squats, high knees. Make every rep count, because every rep matters. Now pay attention here to your intensity level. You'll find that your brain gets in the way, and will tell you to slow down. But there's a big difference between your brain telling you to slow down and your body telling you to slow down. You want to listen to your body. Every time you do this, it will get easier. We're not pushing through pain, we're just pushing through discomfort. Ready? We're going for sumo squats right here. Bi-legged squats. Jump up. And land in a squat. And in a minute, we get about 40 done. Your back is straight. Push. Best thing for your inner thighs. Quads, hamstrings, and to get a butt lift. Keep your back straight. Work on bending your knees. 
Okay, just stick with it. Just one minute. And you can do anything if it's just for a minute. If you have any issues, you can just go wide, deep squat, using your arms to generate power. It's all about doing the best you can. Good. Keep pushing it. We've only two minutes to go. Ready for push-ups? Get down on your knees. Press your legs over, shoulders over hands. Bend your elbows out. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Your stomach is rock hard. All the way down. All the way up. If you are advanced, go into full body push-ups. Just by full body. Push-ups are the best thing for your upper body. Keep going. We have 30, 25 seconds to go. Keep your hips down. The most important thing about your push-ups is that your butt comes down. Your body is straight from your shoulders to your knees. With knee issues again, have your knees. Put something underneath them. In five seconds, we'll get ready for our last move. So plank, two, one, then plank it out right here. Your shoulders are right over the hands. Your butt is down. You're pulling your navel in and you breathe. Now, I don't want to see downward dogs and I don't want to see your, hand, your shoulders behind the hands. They're right above the hands. Strengthen your arms, squeeze them. Work your chest. Pull your navel in. Tighten up your quads right here. Then breathe, strong breaths. All you have to do is learn how to handle a discomfort in a plank. And with working up some nice sweat, you have 20 seconds to go. And your first workout is already done. How amazing is that, does that feel? You work every single muscle in your body already. 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you are done. Oh, kick ass job. They get me sweating. If you're up for it, you go for another round. If not, next time, try to work a little more intensely. Keep your focus on every minute of these moves. Well done. On today to tomorrow.